And I looked over at her and I said, you know what, I have to say I'm feeling a feeling I have, I don't know if I've ever actually felt before. And that is that I don't want to be anywhere other than where I am right now. Both Brad Pitt and Vince Vaughn, two actors who have been famously linked to Jennifer Aniston, have come forward to reveal the truth about their relationships with her, and they have done so decades after they first started dating each other. In these high-profile romances, fans have long speculated about what went on behind the scenes. And now, for the first time, both men have chosen to address the public's curiosity and reveal their side of the story. Fans have been wondering about what went on behind the scenes for a long time. Tell me, what are the men saying? Please come along with us as we investigate this intriguing tale. During the Jennifer Aniston era, the golden couple appeared in Hollywood. The period of Brad Pitt's life during which he was romantically involved with Jennifer Aniston is widely considered to be the most famous and extensively researched period ever. It tells the story of two of the most famous actors in Hollywood coming together to create what many people believed would be the perfect love story from a fairy tale. Over the course of five years, Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston were the darlings of the media. They were the epitome of Hollywood glamour and the concept of the perfect love. Their relationship captivated the imagination of millions of people and appeared to be destined to last forever. However, it eventually fell apart in the most public and painful way possible, many years after they had previously broken up. What exactly is it that is causing Pitt to speak out about Jennifer Aniston at this point in time, considering that he has been in multiple relationships in the past? In the middle of the 1990s, when both Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt were on the verge of becoming rising stars in their respective careers, they first came into contact with one another. By that time, Pitt had already established himself as a leading man with roles in films such as Thelma and Louise, Interview with the Vampire, and Seven. Meanwhile, Aniston was making waves as Rachel Green on the popular television show Friends. Even though they did not start dating right away, there was an undeniable spark between them. They were introduced to each other by their respective managers who worked together jointly. In spite of the fact that they initially kept their relationship relatively private, they did not begin dating in an official capacity until the year 1998. At the Emmy Awards in 1999, Brad and Jennifer made their first major public appearance together as a couple which immediately caused a frenzy in the media. The sight of the two celebrities interacting with one another, both of whom were at the pinnacle of their popularity, was comparable to an earthquake in Hollywood. After that point, they became one of the most photographed couples in the world. Fans and tabloids alike were obsessed with the pairing, and they became one of the most watched couples in the world. As the year 1999 progressed, it became abundantly clear that Pitt and Aniston's relationship was becoming more robust and that they were on the verge of becoming engaged. A grand, star-studded setting that reflected the couple's A-list status was chosen for the actual proposal, which took place in that setting. During a concert by Sting that took place at the Beacon Theater in New York City, Pitt proposed to his girlfriend in front of many of his close friends and attendees. It was a departure from their relatively low-key beginnings that they made this public proposal, which indicated that they were open to the possibility of becoming a Hollywood power couple. On top of that, that was only the beginning. According to reports, the engagement ring that Aniston wore was a masterpiece that was designed by Silvia Damiani, an Italian jeweler. The design process reportedly took seven months. It featured a spiral of diamonds surrounding a central gem, which symbolizes eternity. This was an appropriate metaphor for their love, which at the time appeared to be one that would indeed last forever. Many people, including the media and fans, were captivated by the specifics of the proposal and the extravagant ring, which they interpreted as a demonstration of Pitt and Aniston dedication to every other person. Both of them were incredibly attractive and talented individuals who appeared to have everything they could possibly want at that very moment. They were the epitome of love and success. Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston tied the knot on July 29, 2000, in a ceremony that was widely regarded as the wedding of the century. 
The wedding was a lavish and intimate affair that took place at a private estate in Malibu. It was attended by approximately 200 guests, some of whom were among the most famous people in the entertainment industry. Individuals such as Cameron Diaz, Courtney Cox, Edward Norton, and Salma Hayek were among those who were invited to attend the event. Because of the stringent security measures that were in place, not a single photograph was made available to the general public during the event. The wedding was so perfect that it looked like it was taken straight from a fairy tale. Under a breathtaking flower canopy, the couple exchanged their vows against the backdrop of fireworks that lit up the sky in Malibu. It has been reported that Brad Pitt was overcome with emotion and experienced tears as he read his vows to Jennifer Aniston. At the event, everything that one would anticipate from a wedding in Hollywood was present. As a significant portion of the day was concealed from the prying eyes of the general public, it was characterized by lavishness, beauty, and a touch of mystique. Not only did Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston become a couple over the course of the subsequent few years, but they also became an institution. The paparazzi and adoring fans followed them wherever they went, eager to capture every move they made. They were always in the spotlight. The media's obsession with their relationship was fueled by the fact that they attended award shows together, expressed support for each other's careers, and made public appearances alongside one another. In 2002, the couple, along with producer Brad Gray, established Plan B Entertainment, which was a signal of their intention to not only dominate Hollywood as actors, but also as power players behind the scenes. Films such as 12 Years a Slave and The Departed were among the films that the production company would go on to produce that received widespread critical acclaim. However, by the time these victories occurred, Pitt and Aniston's marriage had already been in disarray for quite some time. Nevertheless, the production of Plan B demonstrated to the world that Pitt and Aniston were more than just a source of entertainment for the tabloids. Rather, they were serious, ambitious professionals who were determined to leave their mark on the industry. As of this time, Aniston continued to play the lead role in Friends, which is widely considered to be one of the most successful television shows of all time. A memorable guest appearance by Pitt on the show occurred in the year 2001, when he played a character who had a hilariously negative attitude towards Rachel Green, who was played by Jennifer Aniston. Not only did the episode demonstrate the couple's chemistry, but it also demonstrated their ability to ridicule their actual relationship, which contributed to the episode's popularity. According to Dot, during interviews, both Pitt and Aniston appeared to be genuinely in love with one another, frequently expressing admiration and respect for one another. In a now-famous interview that took place in 2003 with W Magazine, Aniston expressed how much she cherished Pitt and how they had conversations about the possibility of starting a family together. It appeared as though they were the ideal couple at this point, as they were able to successfully combine their professional lives with their personal lives. In spite of the fact that their relationship appeared to be perfect on the surface, cracks started to appear in the middle of the 2000s. The pressure of balancing two massive careers in addition to constant media scrutiny began to take its toll on them, despite the fact that they continued to show public affection and support for one another. There were rumors that the couple had a disagreement regarding the timing of when they should start a family. According to the rumors, Aniston wanted to concentrate on her career for a little bit longer, while Pitt was eager to have children immediately. In spite of the fact that these rumors were never verified, they became a popular topic of discussion in the tabloids. In January of 2005, Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston issued a joint statement publicizing their decision to divorce. This event marked the beginning of the end for their marriage, which had been going on for quite some time. The statement was carefully crafted to minimize speculation, stating that they had decided to formally separate after seven years of being together and putting an emphasis on the fact that the decision was made lovingly and mutually by both parties. The media, on the other hand, went into a frenzy that speculated about what had gone wrong, despite the fact that the words had been carefully selected. After the couple had returned from what would be their last vacation together, which was a trip to Anguilla with their close friends Courtney Cox and David Arquette, the announcement was made.
The vacation was supposed to be a time for introspection and reconnecting with one another. But in the end, it was the event that decided to bring an end to their marriage. Aniston filed for divorce in March 2005, citing irreconcilable differences with her husband shortly after their return to the United States. In October of that year, the divorce was finalized, bringing an end to the golden couple that had once established themselves in the entertainment industry. Aniston, who had previously expressed her desire to work through their issues in public, was not the only person who was devastated by the breakup. Fans who had viewed Pitt and Aniston as the epitome of a perfect relationship were also emotionally affected by the breakup. Afterwards, there was Vince, also known as Vince Vaughn. There is a special connection between Brad Pitt, Jennifer Aniston, and Angelina Jolie, and that connection is Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn has a special place in the stories of all three of these women. Vaughn found himself in the position of navigating a complex web of relationships during one of the most publicized breakups in Hollywood. Being a longtime friend of Pitt and a brief romantic partner of Aniston, Vaughn found himself in this position. Despite the fact that Vaughn has, for the most part, avoided being in the spotlight in the same way that Pitt has, his involvement in the aftermath of Pitt and Aniston's breakup has put him at the center of the tabloid frenzy. It was much earlier in their careers that Vaughn and Brad Pitt became acquainted with one another. Although their careers took very different turns, both actors became prominent figures in Hollywood during the 1990s. However, their careers took very different paths. Vaughn, who is well known for his easygoing and comedic persona, has established himself as a box office favorite in the comedy genre by starring in films such as Swingers and Old School. Pitt, on the other hand, has played a wider variety of roles, ranging from the role of a heartthrob in films such as Legends of the Fall and Meet Joe Black to the role of a more gritty and dark character in films such as Fight Club and Seven. The two actors developed a strong friendship during their rise to fame, despite the fact that they had different approaches to their careers and styles of acting. This friendship was founded on mutual respect for each other's work and a common experience of navigating the pressures that Hollywood was known for. This friendship, on the other hand, was put to the test when Vince Vaughn discovered that he was romantically linked to Jennifer Aniston shortly after her divorce from Brad Pitt, which was widely publicized. On the set of the romantic comedy The Breakup, which was released in 2005, Vaughn and Aniston first met. The film was a reflection of some of the emotional struggles that Aniston was experiencing in her real life at the time. Aniston and Vaughn began dating almost immediately, much to the delight of the media, who were quick to label Vaughn as Aniston's post-pit rebound. The chemistry between them was instantaneous, both on-screen and off-screen, and the two began dating almost immediately. It became clear that Vaughn was a calming presence in Aniston's life during a period of time when she was dealing with the emotional fallout from her divorce, despite the fact that the relationship was initially regarded as a light-hearted fling from the beginning. During the time that tabloids were making assumptions about Brad Pitt's proposed relationship with Angelina Jolie, Aniston's relationship with Vaughn gave her the much-needed sense of normalcy that she had been searching for. There was a difference between Vaughn and Jolie and Pitt. Vaughn was careful to keep his friendship with Pitt separate from his relationship with Aniston, despite the fact that the public was quick to speculate about the potential tensions that could arise between Vaughn and Pitt. In point of fact, Vaughn was able to keep his close relationship with Pitt without causing any complications, despite the media frenzy that was going on. The two never addressed the potential awkwardness of the situation in public, and Vaughn remained loyal to both Pitt and Aniston, making it clear that he was not interested in taking a side in the conflict. A little more than a year was the length of time that Vince Vaughn and Jennifer Aniston were romantically involved with each other. During that time period, Vaughn was subjected to a level of scrutiny from the media that was not typical for him. Despite the fact that Vaughn was known for his comedic roles and had a personal life that was generally private, he was suddenly thrust into the world of paparazzi and tabloids, which was something he was not used to dealing with. During subsequent interviews, Vaughn admitted that dating someone with such a prominent public profile as Aniston was a difficult task, 
particularly in light of the fact that she had recently divorced one of the most famous men in the entertainment industry. Vaughn has never stopped speaking highly of Aniston, even after their relationship came to an end, despite the difficulties that have arisen. Additionally, he acknowledged that the media attention that surrounded their relationship made it difficult to maintain their relationship. He described her as being wonderful. Despite the fact that their relationship was brief, Vaughn's relationship with Aniston was a significant factor in assisting her in recovering from the highly publicized breakup she experienced with Charlie Pitt. It provided her with a brief reprieve from the unending comparisons to Angelina Jolie and made it possible for her to reclaim a sense of normalcy, albeit for a short period of time. Vaughn, on the other hand, went back to his comedic roots and starred in films such as Wedding Crashers and The Internship. This allowed him to distance himself from the intense media attention that he received as a result of his relationship with one of the most famous women throughout the world. From the perspective of his friendship with Pitt, Vaughn has been able to avoid getting caught in the crossfire. Despite the fact that Vaughn rarely discusses his personal relationships in the media, it is evident that his connection with Pitt has remained unbroken throughout the entire drama involving Aniston, Pitt, and Jolie. Vaughn has never made any public statements regarding any tension that may exist between him and Pitt, and it appears that the two have maintained a mutual respect for each other's professional and personal lives while working together. As a result of Vaughn's low-key personality, he was able to avoid the worst of the Hollywood gossip machine, which enabled him to maintain relatively drama-free relationships with both Aniston and Pitt. The dating life of Pitt, on the other hand, has not been absolutely devoid of any drama. A list of relationships that occurred in the past and those that have occurred more recently, Brad Pitt's rise to fame in the late 1980s and early 1990s was not only marked by his expanding film career, but also by a number of relationships that received a lot of attention. He had a romantic interest in Robin Givens, who was also his co-star on the sitcom Head of the Class, among his early romantic interests. Despite the fact that their relationship was only short-lived, it demonstrated that Pitt was a rising star in Hollywood who possessed some level of status. While this was going on, Pitt was also romantically involved with Jill Sholin, who had previously appeared alongside him in the film Cutting Class. Their relationship, despite the fact that it was brief, was the catalyst that led to Pitt's recurrent tendency to date other actresses, a pattern that would continue as his career gained momentum. On the other hand, Pitt's relationship with Juliette Lewis, whom he met while working on Too Young to Die, went on to become one of the most contentious of his early relationships. At the time, Pitt was 27 years old, while Lewis was only 17 years old, a young age difference that garnered a lot of attention from the media. In spite of this scrutiny, the couple continued to maintain a high-profile relationship and starred together in the film California, which earned them the status of being frequent subjects of gossip in the tabloids. Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Pitt first crossed paths on the set of Seven in 1994, which marked the beginning of their relationship. Their on-screen and off-screen chemistry was indisputable, and as a result, they quickly became one of the most talked-about couples in Hollywood. It was at the Legends of the Fall After Party in London that they made their first significant public appearance together. This event marked the official beginning of their very public, public relationship. During the time that Pitt was in Argentina filming Seven Years in Tibet, the couple decided to officially become engaged as their relationship became more serious. Following their meeting with Pitt's parents in Missouri, they decided to celebrate their engagement in a low-key establishment known as Red Lobster. This decision came as a surprise to many people. Their engagement was called off just six months later, which shocked their fans and left many of them wondering what went wrong. Despite the fact that they appeared to share a profound connection, they decided to end their relationship. On the other hand, all of that is now in the past. Over the past few years, Brad Pitt has managed to extend his success well beyond the realm of Hollywood. In 2022, he made his debut in the skincare industry with the launch of his brand, Le Domaine. Two years later, in 2023, he accomplished yet another triumph in the realm of entrepreneurship by introducing the Gardener Gin. The bold moves that Pitt is making demonstrate that he is attempting to construct a changing identity as he continues to age. At the same time, 
rumors of a rekindled romance between Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston continue to capture the imagination of the general public. Their touching exchange at the 2020 SAG Awards reignited the ever-present speculation about their relationship, and fans were thrilled to see the former couple share a warm moment at Aniston's 50th birthday. Fans were also thrilled to see the couple share a beautiful moment together. Their jovial reunion, which took place during a table read of Fast Times at Ridgemont High School, only served to ignite the flames of their relationship. Despite the numerous rumors, both parties maintain that they are simply friends. In the meantime, it has been reported that Pitt is currently involved in a romantic relationship with Inez de Ramon. Despite the fact that he is still dealing with the aftermath of his divorce from Angelina Jolie, in spite of everything that has transpired, Vince Vaughn has managed to remain steadfast at the side of both Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston, offering support while remaining out of the public eye regarding their private lives. In your opinion, what are your thoughts on Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt? Which brings us to Vince Vaughn. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. For additional content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Furthermore, please click on the video that is displayed on your screen. You are going to take pleasure in it.